Alright, so this is the Quicksilver Ultralight Mini. Um, yeah, this is a smaller version, Gio, than the, uh, than the larger one that you did a video, that we just did a video, the, the green and white one. You know, that's a Quicksilver as well. Style, and I say style because this is not truly uh, blow by, by blow a copy of the Quicksilver. Yeah, you because know, I've introduced my own engineering here, my own design elements, uh, and my own ways of attaching things. So it's in the style of the Quicksilver that the real thing, but it's introduced with uh, many of the features that I uh, design uh, these things with, and they they need to be implemented if you want a sturdy, you know, durable and, and very uh, efficient model. And so my designs are designed for longevity, as many people already know. And if you've seen my videos, you know, you can see the quality of the, the, the aircraft that, uh, that you get, you know, when you get one of my models. But this is a mini version, and so it's got to be lightweight. And instead of having all these connections with bolts and nuts and bolts, I decided to do this with 3D printed parts. These are all flexible. Um, uh, many of these are flexible TPU parts, uh, c connectors that I use. These are my own connectors uh, to do this uh, type of assembly. And so this is the mini that you're looking here, the wings are also ripped, ripped stuff nylon, but this nylon is very lightweight, it's almost like onion skin. It's a very nice material, uh, and so it's done very lightweight. You can see the ribs underneath. You know, it's got the ribs instead of uh, doing the ribs like I do on the big one. The bigger ones I do molded ribs, nylon molded ribs. These are actually 3D printed ribs because it's got to be lightweight, but it is also carbon rod, fully carbon rod in, in uh, 3D print parts, very lightweight. Uh, my nephew did a video of this, uh, uh, quite a few videos of them, you know, sh uh, today, so I'll embed, embed, so I will embed those in this uh, video when I edit uh, the, the final cut. Uh, I'm going to be connecting this so we can appreciate the lighting. This has a uh, full navigation lights in the full sense of the true navigation lights according to FAA standards. It's just like the real deal. Exactly. So you can see the these are called uh, strobes. This one is uh, needs to be connected here in my little circuit board. Let's see. There we go. Let's okay. turn it on. It was a little bit loose the wire. So these are very nice uh, bright LEDs. You know the green is a very deep uh, green as well as the red one here. You know this is a, a this is a very deep red as the, the true lighting is in uh, aircraft. Uh, these are strobes, and then we have a beacon at the back. Uh, that's the, the, the rudder, the typical beacon for, for the rudder. And I can, can also connect the additional lighting. Uh, I can put uh, landing lights here because the circuit board that I'm using here does have provisions to put two additional lights at the front for landing lights and another one for the, for the back, a, a red one. Uh, but just to keep it simple and to keep it uh, less weight and less wiring, I just have the uh, typical navigation, red, um, uh, red and green. 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 Uh, and the uh, strobes at the back of the uh, wings, the tips, and the strobe at the, at the back. And this is the transmitter uh, we use. Okay. That's right, Gio. So my nephew was asking me about this transmitter, so I, why I have two, you know. So the reason I have two is this is the, the more modern one. This can do any protocol. This only works with this particular protocol, DSM-2. And so the receiver on this one that I'm using, this little receiver that's uh, sitting, where's that little receiver? That little receiver is uh, that receiver right there that's kind of hanging here. I'm just typically taped here. I, I can't lose. All right. So that receiver is a DSM-2 protocol receiver. Protocol is, remember, the language that these things talk to each other, and that's how they're able to communicate. And so this is, is only works with that. But I can also make that protocol in this radio, make it connect to this radio, I can use that radio. But this has been my trusty transmitter for many years and this is how I originally had this set up before I got this radio and this, I decided to just leave it, you know, keep it simple and just leave it at that. And I really like this radio. Uh, I do like this radio from a feature standpoint. It's got so many features and it's so easy to just connect whatever protocol, like I was saying, as many people already know. But the form factor of this radio, I'm a, I'm a pincher flyer. So pincher means, you know, thumb over the index finger. That's you're, you're pinching the controls. And I do this for precision flying mainly. I mean, young kids these days, they fly like thumbs. You know, most kids, they fly like this, and they're pretty good at doing that. I'm, I'm just more comfortable doing it this way. And it just depends how, how you... But unfortunately, my hands, even though they're, they're fairly good-sized hands, 
you know, they have to wrap around the transmitter, and I have a, a little bit of a strain on my hands when I operate this radio versus this radio here. This is a little more more contour here to uh, a little more uh, a narrow uh, contour as far as the height, so it allows me to pinch this with a little more ease than on this radio, which is pretty bulky. You can see that. It's, it's beefy. I shouldn't say it's bulky. It's a very nice transmitter. And nothing wrong with the transmitter. Uh, but from a form factor, depending on the type of flyer you are, the pincher or, or thumbs type controller, you know, it may have a, a you know, you may, may find that it, it's a little more comfortable, you know, if you're a, a thumbs flyer versus a pincher. So, but this is the radio, and I also fly with FPV, a lot of these things, you know, so this is why I have this, although I rarely use the, this this uh, screen here, this FPV camera, this is more like to test the, 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 the video signal. It allows me to have something handy in front of my radio that I can test the video signal. Once I get it, get it going, I put my FPV visor, which I, I, I've shown in some other videos, and that's how I fly FPV models. But this one right here is the, uh, the control. Let me turn this on, and we can see, because my nephew likes watching the, uh, the controls. I mean... You know, so realistic. So it's very, uh, yeah, this, this has a lot of throw here, so I can I can really go vertical with this. You see how much thro throw that is? But that's also, you know, controllable through the radio. So I can kill some of the controls and it'll go with my rates here. So if I have high rates, it's gonna be super, super high rates. You know, a, a lot of control there on the, on, the, on the rudder and elevator. But if I go low rates, you know, I can only go so far, you know. So this one is just, for simplicity, it's strictly elevator and rudder. It does not have ailerons here on the, on the ends. But I could install ailerons, but just to keep it simple, I decided not to do that here. Uh, and so this is how I've been flying this. And it flies really nice on very calm nights or days. As, uh, you can see it in uh, the next part of this video when we edit the, the video. It's awesome. It, it glides perfectly. So what do you think, video, when, when you were videotaping this, so what, what did you think of this one? It's really quick. I really like it. It's uh, you know, pretty lightweight actually. Um, it's like a feather, right? I wouldn't even it's say it's a pound. Yeah. Not even. Now you hold, hold that, hold that video. Let me get, let me get the scale. Hold. Not a problem, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my nephew was wondering about the uh, the weight here. He thinks it's uh, it's very lightweight, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll see how much weight this has. So this is in ounces. So for those that like ounces, you know, we'll measure in ounces. It's got 3.9 ounces, not even four ounces. It's very, very lightweight. <laughs> for those that like, uh, in terms of, um, in terms of grams, it's got. Let's do this again. Make sure that that's on zero. So in terms of grams, it's 104 grams. Let's zero that in. Let's go back to ounces again to double check. So in terms of ounces. This has got 3.8 ounces with the battery on. This is a two two cell LiPo. Uh, I believe these are 600 milliamp hour battery, uh, uh, 600 milliamp hour LiPos, two cells. So this flies with two cells. I do have some other little airplanes. You know, if you want to do another video of that one, Geo, we can do that. That little ones, uh, the one cell ones, because this is a two cell. So I have all kinds of airplanes that, that fly on various numbers of uh, batteries, cell configurations. Mm -hmm. So that's three ounces. So three ounces is very, very lightweight for, for a model yeah. of this nature. And I, I even have a, another one, the same thing, but with thinner carbon rods, thinner, thinner carbon rods, which may drop the, the weight, you know, a, a few grams less than this one here. But it just, it's about four, four ounces is a, is a good uh, target when I design these things for something of this nature, you know, to fly in, the, in front of the cul-de-sac or in the backyard or in indoors. Yeah, so it's a great little indoor flyer. Um, you think I should make a kit? You think people might like this? I I love it. <laughs> it's so, really fast too. Yeah, it can go pretty pretty fast, and you know that depends on the motor, the type of motor that you put here, because yeah. these motors are very very lightweight too. It's, uh, these are these are the uh, I'm going to say twin sixteen gram motors. I think these are called 16 gram motors. This is no more than uh, 0.75 in diameter. 
the little the, the casing of the motor. So they're, they're very little, mo very tiny motors, but they're great little motors. They really pack a punch. Yeah, they uh, they pack a punch. But you can use you know the little quadcopter motors. You know those are even even better. Definitely. So, but I like these little motors. I, I've used them for many many years, and so I I kept them. You know why change something that works, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the combination how I fly that, but like I said, you can also fly it like that, provided that you link this, you bind that to that receiver, which will we'll do with no problem. Awesome. All right. Thank you for watching. It has uh, navig navigation lights. Green, red. flashers or strobes on the uh, rear of the uh, wingtips and it's got a strobe at the uh, top of the rudder Two cell operation. Okay, let's put another battery.